This video will demonstrate how to run advanced payroll in Bookkeeper. In order to run payroll, you first need to set up payroll options for the company, then set up employee payroll options. To start, click on Payroll from the menu, then select Create Paychecks, or click on the Create Paychecks icon on the Bookkeeper main window. The Process Payroll Wizard window will open, showing all payroll cycles on the top part of the window and all individual employees and contractors in the bottom half. Normally, you would process payroll for all employees and contractors within a cycle, but you could choose to run payroll for a specific employee by making selections in the employee list. For this video, I will process payroll for a cycle. Start by selecting a payroll cycle to process and click the Next button. When this window opens, Bookkeeper will automatically calculate payroll for all salaried employees. Hourly employees will have to have their hours entered before calculations can occur. Each line shows the employee or contractor and a summary of hours, gross wages, taxes, deductions, and net pay. You can exclude someone from a payroll run by unchecking the box on the left side. If payroll has already been calculated for a line, the link on the right will show View Modify. If hours need to be entered, as in the case of employee or contractors with hourly wage types, the link will show as Enter Time. Bookkeeper will automatically determine the next date range for the payroll cycle based on the last time payroll was run. The effective date will be initially set to the payroll to date, but can be overridden if necessary. Note that this will be the date used for all GL payroll entries, as well as check date. If timesheets have been created, you can click on the Import Timesheets button. This will import entries for hours worked and time off, and recalculate all employees. To edit payroll calculation details, or enter them for hourly employees, click the link on the right-hand side. Clicking the link will open the Wage Entry Details screen. When editing payroll calculations for employees, the payroll entry screen shows all earning, taxes, and deductions for both employee and company, as well as time off options. For salaried employees, the earnings fields are protected from entry by default. Bookkeeper will automatically calculate the hours and amount based on the employee's pay frequency and salary. If you have a need to override these values, you can check the Unprotect All Earnings Fields box above the Earnings section. If you make modifications to earnings, clicking the Recalculate Payroll button in the lower right will recalculate all taxes and deductions. If you forget to click this button, Bookkeeper will automatically recalculate when you save the changes in this window. Keep in mind that some deductions can be based on other taxes or deductions, so recalculation may be necessary when changing these fields as well. Again, Bookkeeper will recalculate when needed. Any field can be adjusted as necessary. When changes are made, the Net Amount field will automatically update. Bookkeeper will not let you save any adjustments that result in a Net Amount less than zero. When entering Time Off Hours, enter the Hours Taken in the Time Off section. Based on the wage link that is set up in the Employee Setup section, the hours will be copied over to the Earnings section and the wage recalculated. For example, if I enter 8 hours of vacation time, because I have the vacation time off linked to the vacation wage type, 8 hours are automatically set in the Earnings section. The hourly rate for vacation is set in the Employee Setup and is defaulted to be the hourly rate of the person's salary. Keep in mind that the salaried hours are not automatically adjusted. So when I entered 8 hours, it now shows that this person has worked 48 hours and has 48 hours worth of earnings. When this happens, you need to click on the Unprotect Earnings field box above the Earnings section and adjust the salary hours as necessary. The earnings amount will recalculate, and then click on the Recalculate Payroll button to perform any recomputations. Again, it's important to enter any time off hours first 
before adjusting any hours or amounts in the earnings section. Click OK to have all payroll data brought back to the summary window. When editing for a contractor, you're presented with a simple entry screen to enter the number of hours for the particular wage type defined for that contractor. Enter the number of hours and the total amount is automatically calculated. If you need to override the amount that is automatically calculated, check the Make Amount Field Editable checkbox. This will allow you to override the calculated amount. Clicking OK will carry that data back to the summary window. In order to proceed to the next step in the payroll run, all employees and contractors must have earnings and withholdings calculated. A good visual cue is to see if any line has an enter time in the rightmost column. If so, then you need to enter payroll information for that person. If you are excluding that person from this payroll run, simply uncheck the select checkbox for that person. Clicking next will display the payroll recap window. Here is a review of the employee's payroll calculations along with a summary by tax and deduction. Clicking on the amount link will show the breakdown of the total. The bank account will be set to be the current bank account used by Bookkeeper, but can be changed to another account if one is set up for this company. This setting is only applicable to the payroll run and does not change the current bank account in use elsewhere in Bookkeeper. In the Check Create Options section, you can choose to preview the checks in the wizard before they are created or just create the check straight away. Clicking the Print Checks After Creating will open up the Checks to Print window when the wizard completes. You can also override the starting check number and check date if desired. When selecting to preview the checks, clicking Next will show each check with all check amounts and year-to-date information displayed. A recap in the lower left shows the total checks and the total amount and allows you to scroll forward and backward through the list of checks. When clicking the Create Checks button, Bookkeeper will display a message indicating how many checks were created and for the total amount. Once a payroll run has been completed, the checks can now be printed in the Checks to Print window. To make changes to an existing payroll run, such as making monetary adjustments or deleting a check, you first need to search for the payroll run. Using the Search drop-down, select Checks Advanced Payroll from the list. Search for the check and when found, double-click on it in the list or single-click and click the Detail button. You will then be brought to the Payroll Run Summary screen that this check was created in. To make changes, simply click on the View Modify link as before and make the necessary adjustments. Bookkeeper will automatically recalculate the earnings and withholdings. To delete a check, Simply uncheck the person from the payroll run. Proceed through the rest of the wizard. When complete, click the Create Checks button and Bookkeeper will make the necessary updates to any existing checks and void any one that was removed from this payroll run. A message will be displayed showing you what changes were done to this run. Additional information about running payroll can be found in the Bookkeeper help file.